We've got uh, IBM um, Netcool specialist and, and OS specialist, uh, Nile with me. And Nile is going to walk us through the uh, entire performance and SLA solution for us. Thank you. Thanks, Nile. Okay. As Ashut explained, you know, we've got a, a Technohendra EBC that we're virtualizing. And we imagined a case where a particular um, LTE property, a telco property deploying LTE, and we've got a user called Nancy who is monitoring that end to end. So monitoring the radio access network, the mobile backhaul, the packet core service, and the experience of our customers. Now, Nancy's organization outsources the EPC to be provided as a service by a data center in the group organization. And because she's outsourced that key instrumentation point, she also needs to outsource the detection of the experience of her customers. So from that data center, she's getting the EPC service, and she's also getting insight into our customer's experience. Now as I go through this demo, I'll constantly flip back and forth between Nancy and also Bill, who works in the IT data center. So moving forward, in the, in, this is a video of our, of our demo. So now we have Bill working on the IT data center, and he monitors from four different perspectives. Now, this is the EPC for Nancy's organization, and he's monitoring the cloud infrastructure, the network function that sits on it, the service that it provides, which is essentially the agreement between his organization and Nancy's organization, and the experience of Nancy's customers. Now, <clears throat> it's important to look at the, in IBM Cloud Orchestrator, to see the deployed EPC. So this, these are the Tech Mahindra EPC sitting on virtual machines in the data center. And here you can see we've got the Tech Mahindra EPC. It's a standard EPC. It's got MMEs, PGWs, and SGWs. And as well as that, it's separated the control and the user for the PGWs and the SGWs because those have different workload requirements and so require differently configured virtual machines. So in advance, Bill's organization would have configured automatic scaling policies. And here we have three scaling policies, one fault management one, and two performance management. And we will focus on the performance management scaling policy that we're going to employ as part of this demo. And what that scaling policy explains is that if the set of SGW CPUs that are deployed all have their CPU in high, it's critical or warning, and if BBC iPlayer, that's an application, an over-the-top application, if that's affected, then we'll scale up. And by implication, if another application is affected, we won't scale up. And this enables the operator to make an economic or a business decision by externalizing the policy. In advance, within the ICO's modeling tool, one can configure what actually happens to scale up. And so we have an optional approval step. So we may ask the user for approval before, before scaling. We scale the SGWU, and after scaling, we configure the monitoring of the new component. So we, for example, we have a virtual probe. It has to DPI the interfaces to that SGWU. The rest of the network monitoring has to know that it's an SGWU and it's assigned to Nancy. So moving right on now, Let's increase the traffic and see what happens in our EPC. We're generating traffic with a test tool, and here you can see an icon that I've inserted in the video to indicate where, we're, where we are in the demo with regard to the traffic. So we increase the traffic, and lo and behold, we get some events. Our cloud infrastructure and our customer experience has gone critical, and our service and our network function isn't warning. So the first thing Bill does is he looks at his cloud infrastructure. Why is that critical? In here we can see that his SGWUs are all running over 90% CPU, and that's likely the cause of the problem. He can see that this is recent, and he's also got events which he can use to automate other actions if he wanted to. <clears throat> now meanwhile, Nancy is, notices that our EPC service agreement has gone into warning and our customer experience has gone critical. So she's interested, what's wrong with my customer experience? She drills in, so does Bill. And each of them can individually in their own time see this. And this is based upon our DPI product, the Now Factory. And you can see that YouTube video is 
is affected. So people are having a poor experience with YouTube video, and it's because the videos are taking a long time to start, greater than 20 seconds. So now Bill looks at his network function. In here, Bill can see that his network initiated detach rate is gone from. So customers getting detached from the network because the network cannot accommodate because of the increased capacity demand on the network. Nancy now decides, I'm going to look into my service agreement with Bill's organization. So she selects that. Bill can also see it from his perspective. And this is a mashup of information from Now Factory, from TNPM, from our uh, Omnibus product, but we can see that the video customer experience is bad. And if we drill in here, we can see that it's YouTube that's affected. However, BBC iPlayer is still fine. So under these conditions, we won't scale. The customer's made an economic condition, we won't scale for this. After some time, the traffic increases further. Now, when we detect that, we can see that BBC iPlayer is just as affected as YouTube. And now the system is automatically scaled. Of course, since it's automatically occurring, Bill doesn't have a view that that's actually happening yet. So, he really has to wait until the system resolves itself before Bill is notified. So the system repairs itself, and the first thing that happens is the cloud infrastructure resolves. So when Bill sees that going green, he selects in there and says, oh, what happened? Well, it turns out, a third SGWU instance has been spun up, and it's taking traffic, and as a result, the CPU on the other SGWUs has gone down below 90%, and the alarms have cleared. However, network is still critical, and so are customer and service. So what's happening here? The network initiated detach rate is okay now, but now the distribution of traffic across the EPCs is uneven. And of course that's because the EPC, the new STWU, isn't taking all of the traffic yet. It takes time to distribute the traffic across from the existing STWUs. After some time, that resolves itself. Those events will clear, and ultimately, when Bill looks back up at his top level, the issue is resolved. And again, we can swing. Nancy will see the issue resolved in time on her side as well, because she's also seeing a view of the service and the customer experience. So our EPC service agreement resolves, and the customer experience improves. So the important thing that we want to show is we could have done something that says the CPU is high, we'll just scale up the, 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 the resources. But you, you can't just do that because you have to look at what the business impact. Maybe you're actually under attack. Maybe that's why your CPU is high. Would it be suitable to scale up under those conditions? No. Or alternatively, you could scale down because of a problem somewhere else at bottleneck. So really, you actually have to look and say, so what are you going to scale up for and what are you not going to scale up for? And our scaling policy allows the user to make a business decision on that. So thanks, thanks, that's uh, it. Thanks for your demo. Uh, let's move on to the uh, demo from HP. <laughs> uh,